Well, in other news, how are you spending this Memorial Day and this Memorial Day weekend? Well, WBKO News reporter Micah Henson has the story about a Bowling Green native who walked 15 miles for veterans this Memorial Day weekend. Take a look. This Memorial Day, you may be hiking, visiting the lake, watching baseball, grilling out, or simply sleeping in and taking a day of rest. However, for Jim Cowan, sleeping in is not his prerogative. Instead, much like he has been doing over the past several years, he will get up early and walk across Bowling Green with the stars and stripes over his shoulder. On social media, Cowan has been walking and documenting under the name Flags for Vets, where he is, quote, sweating for our vets. He has the goal of traveling 15 miles on foot to recognize those who have served or fallen while serving on this Memorial Day. It is Memorial Day. I'm doing a 15-mile walk tomorrow from uh, Bowling Green to Scottsville and I plan on being up about 4.30 just so I can be done, hopefully to beat the rain and everything else. If it rains, it rains, I'll still do it one way or the other. Cowan is not a veteran himself, but he has several friends that are, including those he has dedicated the flags to. He has presented a total of 15 flags to veterans since beginning his walking journey, presenting at a range of locations from WKU's homecoming football game to a recipient's business. Even not being a veteran, Memorial Day is very close to his heart. Memorial Day is to remember those that have given the ultimate sacrifice, that have died while serving uh, or have passed after serving. But, um, you know, we just need to remember each veteran that's not, no longer here with us. Who knows? You may see Cowan across town carrying his flag, or you yourself may be doing something similar. If not, and you happen to have some free time moving forward, Cowan has some ideas for you. Just always take the time to, to thank a veteran. Uh, that's one thing that I, uh, when I do my TikToks, is I always make sure to remind people to thank a veteran uh, because if it wasn't for veterans, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we love to do, that we're able to do, and, and live in such a great country. Reporting in Bowling Green, Micah Henson, WBKO News. That's an awesome story. And to find out more about Flags for Vets, you can visit links up on our website, wbko.com.